I have been preparing for this for months. Carefully, I have guided the pieces into place. I have a proposition. And now, in exactly seven real life days, my Minecraft server will switch to hardcore mode and we will commence our second annual purge. Commencing at the side. And this time, I have a carefully laid out plan to win. Okay, phase one, don't die. I was a man who had one mission and one mission only, do not die. And, uh, uh, okay. The first phase of my plan was to make sure that I didn't die. And to do that, I wanted to focus on getting top tier armor as fast as I could. This meant no bases, no adventures, n not, no, no going after a pig in a mount, nothing like that. Just getting armor, and the best way to do that, I thought, would be villagers. So immediately after the server launched, I asked everyone if they wanted to work together to just try to save some villagers that we could all use. You want to start friendly? Let's 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 secure these villagers. Let's secure the villagers. There you go. There you go. I'll just take I'll just take this one and this one. Is this a yeah, communism? Yeah, yeah. We share everything. Secure the villagers. Secure them. We can all work together here. What can you? Y'all beat me to. <laughs> Is that a? Crime? Okay, that's what I just mean. Because everyone's stealing Stop everyone's it. crafting tables. I oh, will so kill rude. you. Hey, it's already becoming nighttime. Oh, oh! What do you mean, well? You're killing this man. Yeah, this this man does not deserve it. He does not deserve his life. He is he is too loud. There's a bamboo over here. It's my bamboo. I've claimed it. Go away. Yeah, you're right. Remember all the other scenarios where you make enemies right at the beginning? <laughs> what have you already done? Now? You, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we we were share, okay? Okay. In the midst of that, I uh, looked out across from the village and saw what looked like the entrance to a dungeon. And I thought, okay, and maybe if I got enough people to agree to going down into the dungeon, I would have safety in numbers and I could just grab something out of a chest and run right out of there. Uh. Yeah, uh, that that didn't quite work out the way I thought it would. Oh! 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 God! Oh God! Yeah, it is partially underwater, so be careful. Oh, who's who just did that? Who just did that? Did what? Poured, poured water on my head while I'm getting mauled alive. I uh, I was trying to wake you up, Ryan. Are, are you awake? Yeah, I'm, I'm awake to who I can trust now. Oh, this is such a mistake for a man like me. This is such a mistake for a man like me. Too disabled. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm dead for sure. I'm dead. So not even 10 minutes in, and I had already died. But, 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 I am happy to announce that this, right here, is my only death leading up to the purge. You will not see me die again, okay? So, it, it, phase one is still a go. I just renamed it, uh, phase one, don't die again, okay? So I spawned in the village again, and uh, Kim and Sneeve were already up to something. <laughs> hey, how's it going? You. Hey, how's it going? I, it's all deep as hell. I died already. I <laughs> saw yeah. a zombie got you. That's a, that's a good job. Actually, sooner than I expected. Sooner? Okay, Sean. Sean, I need to talk to you face to face, okay? Sean, listen to me. Yeah. Sean, look at me. Look at my face. I, I, I stopped. Okay. Sean, look at Sean. Okay. Don't walk away. Sean. <laughs> okay, I need someone to help me out here. <laughs> What's going on? I need I need stone. Uh, sneeze ass. No more screwing around. I was a man on a mission, so I headed up to the mountains to get iron. It didn't take long to find some, and then I started smelting it. I spent the first night in a cave, but I'm assuming so did everyone else. And 
I'll just go watch their videos to see that. In the morning, I left the cave and kept looking for iron. There was, uh, yeah, this mountain? I wanted to call it Iron Mountain because there was so much in the mountains. And while I get iron here, I'm going to tell you about one of the things that we were doing differently in this purge. This time around, we were allowed to set traps before the purge began, which meant that anywhere at all in the world could be booby-trapped, and you could potentially walk into a house and die. So technically speaking, you were able to kill people before the purge, though it had to be indirectly. The only exception to this rule was that you were not allowed to trap portals. That was it. So although it was still early, I was still a little bit nervous as I moved through this mountain because someone could have easily set up some sort of pitfall trap or something like that very early on, and I didn't want to fall for it. Although later on in one of my more nefarious phases of my master plan, you will see me return to this very same spot and set up a couple traps. So you just sit back and wait for that, okay? After mining for a while, I was I had a ton of iron, and uh, so I switched my focus to trying to get diamonds. And I was digging and digging and digging, and I I could not find diamonds. And I started to get worried that th this this map just didn't have any on it. All I want is one diamond. If I find one, I'll be the happiest man alive. If I find two, I'll be the happiest man who's ever lived. If I find three diamonds... I'll okay, whatever I was saying there, does it's stupid. doesn't matter. I have no idea what is going on about there. Anyways, I kept looking for diamonds. I was starting to get very desperate, as you can tell from what I was just saying. I was starting to go a little bit nutty. But then I found... My dog keeps slamming this ball around me while I'm recording this. You know what? I'm not cutting this out. Go in the video. If you hear a slam, it's my dog dropping a ball on me right now. Eventually, I found this huge cave, and usually, now I have enough brain power to understand that when you find a cave like this, this deep down, you can you can usually find diamonds down here. So I started to peep around, look around, and see if I could find anything. Where are all the diamonds? Right there. Just a lot of stuff in the way. It's fine. What is with this guy? One diamond. All of that work. I found one single diamond. You can't really do much with one diamond, so I just, I stashed it for now. When I came back up to the surface, I had no idea at all where I was, so I got in a boat and sailed out onto the ocean to try and find a village to start trading in. But then I found a treasure map, and uh, I thought, okay, well, you know, I'm gonna f let's follow that. Maybe you'll find some diamonds in the sand or something like that. But the thing is, is that I... I have zero clue how to use these. I've used them before, but I, for some reason, I just couldn't remember how the how the map works. So I was, I was following. I was, I was, just, I ended up going somewhere completely different from the. I don't know, but I found a village though, which was good because this is ultimately what I was looking for. Next to the village, there was some sort of uh, structure made out of wood. I'm guessing this is one of the mods. So I took a peek at it. What? You know what this place is. This is a. This is this giant structure that I'm going to be converting into diamonds. The first villager I wanted to establish was a Fletcher, so I could uh, turn that man into an ATM machine. But to do that, I was going to need Flint. Uh, so I jumped in the water, and for some reason, uh, Flint made me start thinking about my man Sneeve. I think Sneeve should change his gamer tag to something to do with Flint. The man of Flint. Don't, don't you think, when you think of that man, don't you think of Flint? What do you think Sneeve does as a job? My theory is that he's like a writer, but who knows? Here's another thing I, I don't know about Sneeve. I don't know if the guy is British, Australian, or like New Zealand. God, no clue. Next time I next time I'm talking to him in this, I'm gonna be playing real close attention, try to try to figure it out. You know what I'm just realizing now? I know nothing about Sneeve. Come on, I'm trying to... What are you doing? Okay, come on. Come on, I'm trying to... 
Okay, this dog's going nuts. Sneeve was now my number one target. I mean, I mean, not really, but you know what? Maybe, who knows? Who knows what I was gonna do later? Actually, I know, I'll tell you about it later. I have a kill list, and you'll find out about that a little bit later on in the video. For now, I was still focused on this man, the Fletcher, and getting him to... Uh, get him in a little prison, a little bank machine thing. Beautiful. Now don't go anywhere. You go anywhere, I'm gonna lose it on you. Yeah, you're the... You're, I need you to relax. I need you to relax. No, 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 We're gonna get you in here. Believe me, if it's the last thing, just walk in. Just walk in. Just walk in. Just go into your tomb. Go into your tomb. Go into your tomb. Go into your tomb. There you go. It's good in there, believe me. All right. Now let's see. Sticks for emeralds. That couldn't be better. Now watch. I converted a bunch of wood into emeralds, then converted another villager into an armorer or salesman or whatever they're called. And then I started investing the emeralds I was getting from the Fletcher into the armor guy. I repeated this process of cutting down trees, turning them into sticks, selling the sticks to the Fletcher, and then spending my emeralds at the armor guy for almost an hour. Occasionally going off course to make things like uh, an anvil I used to enchant a bow. And if you're wondering where I got these enchants from, I found them... When I was looking for this village and the treasure map stuff, I found some floating barrels. And there was like uh, enchanted books in there. So I went, there, there was some good stuff, so I was stashing all this stuff. Anyways, I was, I was a busy man doing all this stuff. Someone here has got to be selling food. They got that butcher. Was he selling food? I don't know. I don't want to buy food from a 14 chicken rabbit stew one emerald. Oh, this is such a waste. Don't get don't get too excited. All right. Oh. I'm buying your boots. Happy to buy them. Eventually, I had the armor up to selling diamond gear, so I bought pants. What are those? En what are those enchantments? Those are awful. You can remove enchantments, right? Like with a grindstone. And then after about another forty minutes, I had a full set of diamond gear. And there it is. Phase one was progressing perfectly. Back when I was cutting down trees to get emeralds, I had been messaging Lagundo about meeting up. I suspected that, like usual. Lagundo was making his rounds on the server trying to form an alliance with uh, everyone on the first day. So when he showed up shortly after I had gotten my full set of diamond gear, I wasn't too surprised to hear him pitch a potential alliance with me. Lagundo, how's it going? Hey, I have a proposition. Okay. Because these scenarios, they rhyme, right? You and I, we talk, you eventually betray me, you partner up with Robert and try to kill everybody. Like, there's a pattern. No, I didn't, I didn't betray you in the Game of Thrones one. <laughs> you betrayed no, me it's fine. in the Game of Thrones one. Yeah, okay, so, all right, like, two to three, who's keeping score? Yeah. Anyway, what if we actually work together? I was thinking about that. However, right now, I'm not agreeing to alliances with anyone. Really? Yes, even even for that. But I'm not ruling it out. Okay. Because I had an offer. <laughs> what, what what is it? These are the boots of friendship. The golden boots of friendship. The golden boots of friendship. Okay. And if you were to wear the golden boots of friendship, yeah, we would be friends. I'll be yeah, I'll be friends. I I the thing is is I'm my plan. Oh, there we go. Got him on. My plan is I'm not going to make enemies of anyone. I'm gonna I'm just gonna be a man who's just gonna try to ride this thing out and survive till the morning. I remember in the first purge when we said that and Kim said that and then we all agreed to kill Kim. Well, that time I said I was gonna work with someone or we were gonna work together. This time I'm saying I'm I'm not I'm not purging. I'm not going after anyone. I'm just gonna try to bunker down to survive the night. These have curse of binding on them. Yes. <laughs> My friendship is forever, Sean. How do I get these off? <laughs> you didn't read first. No, I just... You didn't, you didn't even let me say it. You just went for it. Okay. So... <laughs> that you have, you have curse of... Don't kill yourself. Well, I'm just... 
How do they come off? You, you gotta break them. Oh my god, I just spent so long getting diamond boots. <laughs> okay, so these are the boots of friendship. And because of this, because of this and because of friendship, and because I know you can't, don't, you can't shoot me, because <laughs> I know it can't go over 10. No, 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 I, I can't. hate to see a man's down. You earned that. By a zombie death in the... Yes, I know, and I'm spending it. Well, uh, no, 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 it's not a transaction. I'm not a... I, I'll hold on to it, I'm not going to eat it, but I will return it to you if you lose a heart. Okay. That, th this is mutual trust. I was very, very careful with my words. Because I didn't want to form an alliance with anyone. Not, not yet, at least. Plus, I had suspected that Lagundo had already had this conversation with at least half of everyone on the server by now. So, I was very careful not to form a formal alliance with not just Lagundo, but anyone at this point. Because anyone, and everyone, was going to be fair game on Purge Night. My work on my armor was far from done. Now I needed to enchant it, so I wanted to make a, a lectern. And to do that, I was going to need books, which meant getting leather, so I went out looking for cows. After searching for a while, and I, can't, I mean a while, I found some horses. Which, you know what, after you've spent like 30 minutes looking for leather, and you come across a bunch of horses, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna kill that horse, alright? So that's what I did. Slaughtered a bunch of horses for leather. They were outside of a village, and when I went into the village, I, I felt sick to my stomach. Maybe they have, there's no doors. I think it's been looted. There's also no villagers. Someone is killing all the villagers. Yeah, look. Someone came to this. This is dark. This is... This is sickening. Someone came here to this beautiful village and slaughtered everyone. Oh, they're all dead. Uh, and it's so close to mine. If I put a villager in my house, then they can't kill them. Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I gotta start moving villagers into my house. I gotta put them in boats and move them into my house. One one of the guys I wanna save is the food guy. And my armors, I gotta go put them. Oh, this is a huge job. Why? why? There's just there's a straight up serial killer on the server. I was gonna figure out who did this. There's one sick, sick mind on our server, slaughtering innocent people. What type of man would do something like this? Well, you know, and leave a comment saying whoever killed the villagers is sick and twisted and probably sends Trojan viruses to all of their friends. Go ahead, leave that comment. Okay, anyways, as soon as I saw that, I knew I immediately I had to get all of my villagers out of the village and into that little house that I had, that little wooden house that I had been stashing stuff in because sooner or later, whoever this sick, sick mind was, was going to find my village and slaughter the people that I had just spent like five hours leveling up. You know what? I'll just take everyone. I'm saving these men from a serial killer. Who are you? You're just a regular farmer. You're like low priority. My man with the food! Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Get in. Saving you for sure. I'll bring over your smoker, don't worry. Hey, my man the Fletcher, good to see you. Guess what? I have sticks for you, but I also have this boat for you. Where are you going? Here. Got no job? You do now. It worked for me. Oh! Sorry, 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 sorry. Let's try to get... These guys. Whoever gets in first gets saved. Alright. What are you all doing? Time to go, my man. Time to move. These places this place isn't safe. They're he, who's ever doing it is gonna find you and he's gonna kill you. Now you wanna come too? You're a farmer, but I haven't traded with you before. Get in. Is 
it new Fletcher? <gasps> Did everyone... Okay, that farmer's still here. That's good. I have like 10 Fletchers in here now. By mistake. I put one of the unemployed villagers in a corner and then started to repeatedly place down a lectern, hoping to get a good enchant from them. And eventually, I got something. Protection or mending? Whatever one comes first. Flame. These are all good ones, but... The end mending, there it is for 19. Okay. Beautiful. So let's lock that in before he decides to change his mind. Get a book. I was, I, I realized I was going to need way more librarians if I wanted to get a bunch of different enchants. So I left the little house to try to save more villagers from the psychopath that was on the server. Whichever one of you gets in this boat gets sick, doesn't get killed by a serial killer. So. Maybe you want to think about that before you start walking off. Okay, this guy right here, I got to keep him from the lecterns. Or the, you know what I mean? I need to, in fact, put him in some sort of container before I take him out of the boat. Something similar to the uh, one that I got the other librarian in. And once I got this guy all settled in, I made a new lectern, and I began trying to get protection for. And it, it took so long. So long to get that book to appear as a potential trade from this guy? I, I was speechless of how long this took. So many good things that I absolutely would accept. Fortune 3. Fortune 3. There it is. Oh. Lock that in. Oh. I was running out of books though, so I went out to find more leather, but I ended up finding a village which had a bunch of bookshelves, and uh, also it had a lectern in it, so that, I just grabbed that, which was, hey, that was good, good find right here. But this was some good stuff, because now, now I had absolutely everything I needed to put protection for and mending on all of my gear. It was like the first day on the server, and I already had full diamond gear with protection for and mending. I was feeling very, very good. So for the next little while, all I did was collect logs, trade them for emeralds, and use the emeralds to buy protection for and mending enchants, and work my way through all of my diamond gear until I was fully stacked. I still had those annoying little Gundo boots on me, though. Stupid golden boots on me. Look at that. I settled on getting flame from another librarian, and I combined that with the Power 4 book that I had found, and uh, I got a nice juiced-up bow already, which, I'm not gonna lie, I was feeling pretty good about that, that bow. That was uh, quite the bow. And having it this early in the game, ooh, 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 very good, very, very, very good. But I was getting sick of being with these villagers in this tiny house for so many hours at this point. I was starting to go a little bit nutty. So I asked my dear friend Kim, uh, unsorted guy, if he wanted to meet up. And after he told me he was eating a banana for some reason, uh, I, he gave me his coordinates, so I went to go meet with him. This time around, Kim refused to let me build near him, uh, because last time, I completely abused uh, being his neighbor. So he, this time, he opted to build a tiny little island in the middle of the ocean so that no one could bother him. L look at this little house. Hello? No entry. Kim! Oh, hello? Hello! You woke me up. What do you mean I woke you up? Uh, I was sleeping. Oh. May I enter? Hey. Yes. Ah. Hey. What do you got going here? You got your mic turned up real full blast, eh? I can hear everything. I can hear you breathing. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh! May I look in your chest? Um. Huh? May I look inside of your chest? Why you want to do that? <laughs> okay. So what are you up to, huh? I haven't seen you since uh, day one. Uh, I've just been living, you know? I got these stupid golden boots on that I put on without thinking about it. For uh, Curse of Binding? Yes. I have I have, <laughs> I have. fully upgraded diamond ones, but I can't wear them. <laughs> I have these stupid... Well, I can wear them in the meantime. Yes, so this is my home. I brought you something. Really? A flower? A sunflower, yeah. 
Oh, thank you. It's really kind. I'm uh, thinking about moving. I was going to build on an island. I thought the island's a good idea. Well, this uh, location is uh, known to uh, too many. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's, <laughs> everyone's visited here? Well, enough of people at least. I had absolutely no idea what this guy was planning for Purge Night. And to be honest, I'm not even sure that Kim... Kim knew that we were t that we were doing a purge scenario because prior to us starting to record this whole thing, he was in our group chat talking about islands, which is a future scenario that we're doing, and here he was living on an island. I don't even think that he knew that we were doing the purge thing, to be honest, at this point. Anyways, I sailed off with this guy looking for dungeons to loot. Here, come with me. Let's go for an adventure. Oosh. Okay, let me drop off some things. I'll bring you. I'll bring you somewhere, and I'll show you something that you you're gonna want to see. Okay. No, get in my boat. You're gonna want to get in I'm this bring boat. This with me. I'm bringing the boat with me in case you, I don't know, abandon me. <laughs> that abandon could me. happen. Have you been in this you jungle? Where you're going? No. <laughs> oh, look at turtles. Where, where? Oh, so many turtles. Do you see the turtles? Yep. This is called Turtle Jungle. I found a village that was just completely slaughtered. Yeah. <laughs> was that you? <laughs> Could be. <laughs> yeah, I, got, I was getting worried. That's when I brought all my villagers into my house. <laughs> I found a huge village with like 40 villagers. And you killed them all? I killed them all. Even the younglings? Even the younglings. Especially the younglings. <laughs> they went first. Oh my god. Look, look at all the villagers. Yeah, they're alive. This is not, I've not been here. Probably get a lot of books. Oh, Kim. Yeah. Someone's been here. Like they locked the villagers in. Mm. So, you know, so you know what that means, right? Hey! hey. <laughs> you want those potatoes? If the villagers are locked in their houses, are they doing like a? Someone's someone's saving them so that they can. Uh... Or maybe they're doing a raid to get the to get what is it called? Totem. Totem. Of annoying. Or they're getting ready to trade with the villagers, so if you want to uh, do what you like to do, I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> Come here. I found what you were looking for. What's that? Ah! Two of them, too. What, two? <gasps> oh, look at that. Emerald, gold. Kim! <laughs> hey, let me out of here. What is that? This gold. Oh boy. Oh boy is right. <gasps> oh boy. Need help? Uh, yes. Want me to come down there? Actually, I think I can manage. You, you just not gotta, you gotta be not scared, okay? Yeah. Kim! Don't be scared. <laughs> come, come. I got sand for you. Okay. You'll help me out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Let's work together. What, what are we doing down here? Oh, you just... <laughs> Alright, let's kill these people. Are you safe? No! What are you doing then? Kim, I almost just died because of you. <laughs> no way, dude. Really? Yes! I'm so sorry. Are you safe now? No! Alright, uh, come down. Where are no, you? No, no, don't you? come! I'm gonna make okay, myself right, safe. Go. Okay. Oh my god, my heart's pounding right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> I need to get out of here. How do we get out of here? I have no idea. Where are you? I'm in the same room. You got a pickaxe? Yeah. I need it. I, al I almost got buried by the by the uh, sand. I'm trying to get out of here, but I. My pickaxe broke. 
There's a lot of zombies now, way more than I expected there to be. I'm out. Are you out? Yeah, I'm, above, I'm uh, on the staircase. That was okay. fun. Yeah, I, I know, I'm not doing it. After that, I was done with this man. This, this man was a complete psychopath. And I knew then and there that, that yeah, Kim was going to have to die on purge night. And he became the first man on my kill list. Anyways, we got back and I sailed away from that man. Goodbye. Kim had given me diamonds, so uh, when I got back, I made a diamond pickaxe and enchanted it with one of the other books that I'd found. I spent a little while cutting down more trees and then trading them for emeralds and trying to get sharpness five um, from uh, one of the other jailed uh, librarians that I had. And after like 30 minutes of, again, tr just spamming the selector and slashing it down, slamming it, getting it, I finally had it pop up. 46 emeralds, though. Look at that. It cost 46 emeralds, and I had like two emeralds. So I was going to need to go out and get more. And then as I was collecting more sticks to get more emeralds, I realized that trade might not be there when I get back. So I started absolutely panicking, trying to get back in time for it to be there. I need so many. He better have them when I come back. He's going to, I'm going to lose that enchant. Sharpness five on the sword. Oh my. And if I get another right sword with sharpness five. Ooh, or maybe an axe. Is it better to put on an axe? I don't know. Robert wants to go into someone's house. Not going mine. No. I need a Fletcher. I kind of regret getting that meat guy. All my Fletchers are out of stock. Okay, I need a Fletcher willing to make the trade. Come on, you guys gotta just... Come on, one of, these, one of these three Fletchers. Come on, restock. There we go. That's one. Did you all restock? I don't even know who I've spoken to. You haven't restocked. You're the slow one. What are you? No. You? No, okay. How many do I need again? I'm at 44. Was it 48? It's gone! Uh. So I had to start doing this again. I sat there for like another 20 minutes trying to get Sharpness 5, and it didn't pop up. I, I, I was going absolutely nutty, so I, I agreed to meet up with Robert and Kim again. Robert, when I got there, for some reason, already had full netherite gear. I have no idea how he got it so quickly. It was only like day two at this point. Regardless, I asked if he wanted to, if he had any more ingots, and he said that he did. Immediately, I offered him the enchanted golden apple that Lagundo gave me as a sign of trust that I was then supposed to give back to him later to show that we were still in an alliance. But you know what? When a man offers you netherite gear for absolutely nothing, well, I guess he was offering it to me in exchange for Lagundo's trust. I took that deal, all right? Took that deal, I'm gonna take that deal again, 100% of the time. Lagundo's trust for netherite? Easy, easy trade. But Robert didn't have it on him. He had it in back at his house, which again was valuable information for me to find out where Robert was living. So uh, he brought me back to his cave, which I guess we were all living in a cave at this point, and boom, made the trade. I then used Robert's smithing table to combine my fully enchanted netherite, or at the time, diamond chess piece for a netherite one. And just like that, I was a man with netherite gear fully upgraded so early in the game. Absolutely incredible. But while Robert and I were talking, Kim had just randomly, without saying anything at all, had gotten up and walked out of the cave, which made both of us very worried. Kim, where'd you go? He's got up there with the TNT. Kim? He's, he's left. Look at him. In the, look out in the ocean. Why? Why did he leave? <laughs> what is he doing out there? <laughs> what is happening? Kim is the weirdest guy ever. <laughs> he just he just walks out and gets in a. I was going to show you something, Robert. Without you show me something, you, you leave without saying anything. <laughs> and specifically Robert, too. What, what? Show me what? See here, follow me. What do you mean? Just follow me like uh, 10 blocks. What are you planning here, Kim? This is way more than 10 blocks. What's this? Is this a spawn? Oh, is this a drowned spawn? Yeah. 
What do you want to show me? The drone spot. Cool. And you guys thought I left for no reason. Well, you kind of you, did, did. you didn't say anything. Away. You would have left if you, if, you didn't, if you didn't see this. It's not like you saw this from inside Robert's <laughs> house. <laughs> I saw it out of his window. After all of that, I logged out for the night in Robert's house. Later when I logged back on, Robert was he was gone. He was offline. So I wanted to yeah, pull, pull a little prank on Robert. So I spent like 10 minutes building this stupid thing. And I called it Meat Man. I love meat. I am Meat Man. No, actually, this will say, yum, 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 yum. I am Meat Man. That was perfect. If I put this here, there we go. Wait, that kind of looks like pants if I do this, so. It would be funny if there was, like, a hole. When I, when I tried to make Meat Man a little pooping hole, uh, I fell into it, and I heard villagers down there. Do you have a secret stash of villagers? I can't enter that, but there, he's got a secret stash of villagers in there. That told me that Robert was potentially withholding information from me, which was interesting. But with my armor mostly done, it was time to enter the next phase of my plan. Phase two, become lethal. Okay, uh, at this phase two, become lethal. Easier said than done for a man like me, because a man like me is doesn't know what he's doing at all. With my armor mostly done, because let's be honest here, there's no way a man like me is going to figure out how to get netherite efficiently. Uh, I was happy with how it was. Now I needed to shift my focus into forging fully upgraded deadly weapons. And on my way back to my base, I stopped by Kim's stupid little island, and uh, I left him a little note. Let's just stir the pot a little bit. I offer peace from Lagundo. I had one more stop on my way home. I was going to meet up with Shadow for a chat, but before I got there, I took my armor off. Because I, I, didn't, I didn't want him seeing what I had just yet. Not at least until I felt like I could trust him. Hello. Is this your house? No, this is, uh, Robert built this. Oh, cool. I'm coming up then. He said that this is a safe meeting area. Ah. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 I didn't even think about that. Did you check it for traps? Yeah, I checked it. Okay. Do you have no armor on? Uh, I have some, but I don't want to lose it. I was scared about coming here and dying. Oh, okay. So if I die, I just lose a heart, but I don't lose all the armor that I have. No, I, uh, I haven't found anything yet. I found a vin another village, but there wasn't anything in it. Really? Oh, no? Yeah, I no. found a few. Someone, someone's someone been killing villagers. Are they? Yeah, they're slaughtering them, so if you find them, I would uh, keep them safe. So someone doesn't want us to get books. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> My guess is it's Kim. Because <laughs> I've been, Kim, yeah, prob I've been yeah, to his true. base, and he's got a bunch of villagers in his uh, basement. Oh, does he? Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I think Rob, I think Robert has some in his in his basement too. So, right, I met up with Ryan. Ryan is just kind of trying to make alliances. Yeah. With me. Are you looking to trade? Do you have anything to trade? No, I don't really have anything. I uh, just spent a good portion of the day just getting materials for building. I don't even have diamond stuff. I have one diamond pickaxe. Well, all right, I'll show you something. I can help you there out. You go. <laughs> <laughs> I can, <laughs> I can help you out if uh I'm not I'm not gonna bring any of my armor just in case I die. <laughs> Jeez. That's great. <laughs> yeah, I, I got access to some stuff if you want uh if you want some help. And I'm willing okay. to give you access to some of it in exchange if you bring me a bunch of emeralds. Like you gotta pay a little bit of a tax on some of the stuff, but Okay. Okay. If, if you want it. I might have an enchanted golden apple for you. Ah, uh, okay <laughs> then. So if, you, if you're interested in doing that, I will gladly let you use anything you want to the ex to as much as you want for uh, the golden apple. Don't tell anyone about my villagers. That's the only thing. That's part of the deal. You can't tell anyone about them. Okay, that's good. No one knows that's about fine. them. And if we keep it that okay. way, it can benefit both of us. I haven't talked to Sneeze since we started. Yeah, neither have I. And Lagundo, I just talked to him just just a little bit when Ryan was around last night, but they weren't talking about anything interesting. Mm -hmm. They were trying to figure out where you were living, though. They were? Yeah. Interesting. As soon as I heard that, my my ears boom. 
ears got real big like in a cartoon started listening a little bit a little bit more because Lagundo wanted to know where I was living and specifically he wanted to know where I was living after we had met up why why, why does anyone want to know where I'm living well you know what I thought as soon as I heard that I wasn't no one was gonna know where I was living I was gonna keep that a secret to me and me only it wasn't no meetings going on at my base no one coming meet me there every time I was gonna meet someone I was gonna meet it, meet them somewhere else don't want anyone knowing where I lived. Anyway, Sneev came up and uh, he met with us too. Oh yeah. What the hell so. happened to you? Oh. He's got he's oh. got cobblestone Whoops. armor. Whoops. Sorry, you weren't supposed to see me. So I guess there's an alliance between Lagundo and Ryan. Yeah. Is my name tag showing? Uh yes. Yeah. Oh, oh. okay. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> there certainly isn't an alliance between Kim and Robert. I know that much. <laughs> Hold on. No, no, no. Okay, continue. Okay, hold on. <laughs> alliance between Robert... No, not Robert and Kim, and there's an alliance between... Uh, Lagundo and Ryan. Lagundo and Ryan, that's it, that's it. Yeah, I figured that last night the way they were talking. Yeah. I was trying to get me to be in alliance with them too, but I was just like... You gotta offer me something if I'm gonna... Okay. Do that, but he yeah. had nothing, so... I've been here the whole time, <laughs> I heard everything. Yeah, they uh... Wow. <laughs> Sneeve was just the man that I wanted to hear from. Because while he was sitting there talking to Shadow and I was <clears throat> hidden, I was listening very closely, very, very closely to his accent, trying to geolocate his origins. And I still have no idea where this guy's from. More importantly, my big takeaway from this late night meeting was that it sounded like Lagundo and Ryan had some sort of secret alliance and were planning something big. Also that Lagundo was, in fact, making the rounds and trying to make alliances with everyone. The sign that I put outside of Kim's base earlier would uh, kind of strengthen this rumor uh, because everyone was going to see it because it was outside of his base. And just in case that Lagundo was working with either Shadow and Sneeb and they were playing me, I needed an extra way to make sure that it basically sow distrust between all of them. And that sign that I had put outside of Kim's house earlier, this would be the perfect thing. But I needed Shadow and Sneeb to see that sign. So I suggested to them, hey, let's go Let's go visit Kim's island and pull a little prank on Kim. You see, Kim doesn't like when we use his house as a server-wide meeting point. As a result, everyone on the server always meets up at Kim's house. And so I suggested to them, hey, let's go to let's go to Kim's house and uh, leave a bunch of boats outside of it. So the next time Kim logs in, it was going to look like a hundred people were meeting outside of his house. I want to put a bunch of boats here, so... <laughs> Kim's like, why is there so many boats? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got a little sign outside of his door. I offer peace. Look. Uh, nice. This is a tripwire. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Is that like a trap? No, I think it's safe. <laughs> what the hell is this? This is the worst trap I've ever seen. Look at this sign. I offer oh, yeah. peace. I guess Laguna was trying to make a, an alliance with uh, Kim. There's a sign over here saying stay out. <laughs> yeah, well. And there okay, was a sign so... yesterday saying Sean, follow the rules. <laughs> <laughs> We sat outside of Kim's house chatting for a while and came to the conclusion that Lagundo and others were likely trying to get an elytra. And their plan was, was going to be to keep it hidden until the moment that they needed it. So our plan was to stop him from getting it all together in the first place. And our plan to do that was to trap the portal room. Now, not the portal itself, because you're not allowed to do that, but you can trap the room. So that's what we were set up to do. But to do that, we were going to need Eyes of Ender, which none of us had, so we went to the Nether. Uh, the problem here, though, was that none of us really knew what we were doing in the nether. Well then? You found some netherite, did you? I found some ancient debris. <laughs> really? Thanks you... to you. Are you serious? Well, he was trying- he was cutting underneath me. And so I started jumping up, up oh. on the basalt, and then I broke one and it was right there. You can find Thanks. ancient debris here? No problem. I had found that forest biome where lots of endermen spawn, which is a good good start because it meant that we were going to be able to get eyes of ender here. But when Sneeve and Shadow got here, uh, Sneeve somehow got himself killed. Did you get anything in the chest? Uh, I got another wart. Oh, dude, can can I have some? Uh, <laughs> can I have one? Yeah, you, you got it. You got this guy coming after you. <laughs> oh my God! How did he not? 
didn't see that. <laughs> he was. <laughs> How did he not see that? He was just standing there. He was talking to me and saying, let's make a trade. <laughs> while, it, while it was pummeling him. Wow, you, you watch something like that and you think to yourself, what what happened there? Why, why don't you go ahead and leave a comment saying, wow. I can't believe a, a man Sneeve got taken out like that. Speaking of Sneeve, what country is that guy from? Anyone know? Please reply to my comment with your answer. Lots of us want to know what country that guy Sneeve is from. Why don't you go ahead and leave that comment, right? That would be a good one. After Sneeve, Sne seeing Sneeve get slaughtered, I knew that our mission was absolutely going to be a failure. So we left the Nether, went back to spawn, and, and look who, look who it was there—the man of the hour, Mr. Lagundo. Lagundo had recently died in a dungeon, and I mentioned that Kim had recently tried to murder me in a dungeon, and Lagundo was very interested in finding the location of that dungeon, thinking to myself that. Him and Ryan were working together to try to extract as many golden enchanted golden apples from dungeons as possible. Laguna wanted to know where this uh, dungeon was, but I thought, okay, you know what? I'm going to go with him, and maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to grab the golden apple before he does. So uh, I said, sure, my man. Let's Not realizing it was like 3 o'clock in the morning at this point. Let's, uh, and I had been playing for like 10 hours. Uh, let's go to the dungeon, see what's going on there. Not to mention this was also a great opportunity for me to start progressing through phase two and maybe get some, some good weapons on there. Laguna and I wiped that place Clean. I got so much good stuff from that dungeon, and going through it with a man like Lagundo, who actually knows what he's doing, makes this whole thing so much safer and easier. I would have absolutely been slaughtered down there had it not been for Lagundo, and because of that, it made me think to myself that had it not been for the idea that Lagundo was planning on betraying me and had a secret alliance with Ryan and God knows who else, I would have trusted this man at this point. But I couldn't trust him, because I felt like he was planning something. So, I sadly just grabbed my stuff and got out of there. It was the next real life day, and I was finally, finally heading home. I had realized that I had not been home in like, 15 hours at this point. So, I had to sail home. But to get there, I had to, I had to pass by Kim's house. Kim's house is a... Kim's house is a dump. I finally got home, and I was, I was one very hungry man. But I'm here because I need to speak to one of you. Very important that I speak to one of you. My good, my, my, where is my personal chef? Here he is. I love this guy. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme. I just wasted so many emeralds on that. Now you in the basement. Have you just, have you reconsidered the trades you're offering? Loyalty. That is unacceptable. Give me something better. I had a lot to do. I needed to enchant my weapons specifically. I wanted to finally, finally get sharpness five. Did I? I'm just looking at my script now. Did I earlier in the video say sharpness V? If I said sharpness V earlier in the video, I'm the biggest. I'm the biggest idiot in the world. Go, go ahead and replay what I said in this. I'm not. I'm not going to go back and listen to my voiceover. If I said sharpness V, I. I, I what is wrong with it? So I, I went back to refreshing enchants on this guy, and after a moderate amount of time, I finally had it. Sharpness 5, there it is. 56, 56, 56. 
I need 10 more emeralds. It's going to be gone by the time I get back. I had the enchant, but I'm an idiot, and I, yet again, did not have the funds to buy it and lock it in. So I began wildly like a scared animal trying to scrape up scraps to, to get it. Oh, 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 my god. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. The, start, the, the, the clock is ticking. I need 10 emeralds. 10 emeralds. 10 emeralds. 10. Just 10. 10 emeralds. I'm gonna find a big tree. I'm not gonna bother with the little trees. Just find a big tree circling ahead. Oh my god. 56. 10 emeralds. 10 emeralds. 10 emeralds. 10 emeralds. That's all I need. 10 emeralds. 10 emeralds. 10 emeralds. 10 emeralds. 10 emeralds. Right here. I should only have to cut down approximately half of this tree. Good enough. But I, 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 I don't know if I should. I don't know what to do. Okay, do the calculation as I do this. So each one of these is eight, eight sticks. Eight sticks. And he, he wants 30. He wants 30 per. So. Eight, how many times does 8 go into 30? How many times does 8 go into 30? Uh, 8, 16, 16 plus 8 is, um, uh, six, why can't I do the number right now? 16 plus 8 is, is, is 22, no, it's 24, I don't know, 16 plus 8, so what's this, excuse me, it's 24, 24, so that's 3, and then plus another 8, uh, so it goes in 4, 4 times, I can't do basic math, so 4, 4 times, 4 emerald plus 20, and then the emerald divided by the, the cost of the sharpness, and then the sharpness, the bow, what am I saying right now? The bow, the bow, what does the bow have to do with this? The bow has nothing to do with this. There's an enderman. I don't need, I don't need the enderman. I need, I need the sharpness. Stop, relax, 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 relax. You get, you get so, oh my God, if he doesn't have it, if he doesn't have it, if he doesn't have it, I'm going to, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to go, you're, you've never seen me go more buck nutty than I'll go buck nutty if he doesn't have it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Relax, 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 relax. Just relax. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. There's no problems. There's no problems. No problem. Now you're just gonna walk back. He's still gonna have it. Where's the exit? That's not the exit. Where's the exit? Where's the exit? Where do they come from? Where's the exit to the forest? Is it this way? Where's the guy's sharpness? Okay, relax. 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 I need to eat some chicken. Otherwise, I'm gonna slow down. Oh, Robert. I can't. I can't. Why? Robert has nothing to do with this right now. Oh, I got to just, just get the exit to get the sharpness. Sharpness. Oh my god. If I get this enchant, I win the game. No, I don't. Relax. Calm down. You don't win the game if you get this enchant. You won't win if you get this enchant. Get that get that thought right out of your head right now. I had 41 birchwood this whole time. Did I have this in my hot bar the whole time? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Manufacture sticks, manufacture sticks. I need sticks. I need sticks. I need as many sticks as I can get. Come on, you, you brought me the emerald. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. No! I can't believe this! But you know what? Sometimes, some some things just, just work out because not even like 30 seconds later, the enchant came back and I nabbed it this time. There it is again, for 23! Oh! Oh, yeah! What the, what was that? What in the hell did I just... My dog's looking at me like, what did you just do, Sean? Oh... With that taken care of, I enchanted both my sword and my axe with sharpness V. If I seriously said sharpness V, I'm... I don't know what I'm gonna... Anyway, so, I had everything now. I had mending on all my gear, I had mending on my axe, my sword, I had sharpness V. I had, uh, everything. I was a man who was feeling absolutely incredible and at this point Robert wanted to meet up so I said you know what Robert let's go let's go have a little chat I was specifically curious to see if Robert was going to show me his hidden villagers or not and sure enough when I got there he thankfully thankfully showed me other if he didn't I otherwise would not have trusted this man I would have thought this man is a man who will go on my kill list but he showed me the villagers so he had a lot of them too he, he had this he also had this crazy tripwire duplicating thing where you stand on this platform and you jump and you get like an extra tripwire thing that you can sell to one of the Fletchers and you get a lot of emeralds that way. But honestly, I, th this was good, but I think cutting down trees with a good axe was faster anyways. But yeah, this, this man had a whole operation going on in his basement. He also showed me Meat Man. I don't know. Someone made Meat Man. I, don't, I have no idea. What the hell is this? What is meat, what? Meat Man. 
I don't know. I think Shadow... That sounds like something Shadow would make. <laughs> Meat, man! The very last thing that I needed was Power V on my bow. And Robert's army of villagers was going to give me that. I, so I spent the next little while down here selling sticks and tripwires to his Fletchers, buying Power 2 and Power 3 bows, and combining them in an anvil uh, to eventually get a second Power 4 bow, which I realize uh, probably was not the most efficient use of an anvil, and uh, as I would later find out, was going to make it very difficult for me to enchant anything else using an anvil, specifically when I finally had a second Power 4 bow to get to the Power 5 bow, uh, it was going to cost a ton of XP. And I was completely out of XP in the process of doing this. And I eventually needed 31 or 32 levels or something like that to get the, the upgraded bow. Which is insane. How can a man get that much XP? Robert also needed XP, so we had a plan to do that. Remember those zombified piglin spawners that I had found in another? Well, we were thinking of turning that into a mob farm. So I brought Robert there, showed him it all, and we set something up where they drop down to a pit and then you hit them and stuff. It, it worked okay, but it, it wasn't the most efficient. So we thought this is just kind of a waste of time. The real ticket to getting a lot of XP would be killing the Ender Dragon. And uh, then if we did that, we'd get a lot of XP for not only doing it, but we could also set up an Enderman farm. We get Dragon's Breath, which we could use to make Arrows of Harming. And then we get access to the end, which we could potentially stop someone else from getting the elytra by getting it ourselves and then destroying it. There, there, it opened a lot of doors. So that was our new plan. We went back to Robert's house and started our journey to the portal room, which was insanely far from where we spawned. I'm hitting combos here. Hey. Okay. Give me one second. No, but I'm hitting combos. I'm hitting combos out here. Robert? Yeah. I'm hitting combos out here. Okay. You want to see me hit combos? Yeah, hit a combo. That was actually pretty good. We don't need a boat, really. I want you to hit all the combos, okay? Sean, we could very much well, much well die here. Where? In the end. You think I can hit that combo? You go down there? Oh, I just want to see if I can hit the combo. Go for it. No, you try first. I'm gonna die. I don't trust myself. <laughs> you would have died there. Alright, uh, I think we're far enough. Let's hit another... Combo? Let's hit the gritty. Oh man, I just hit a nasty combo. Oh boy. Um. Oh man, I'm gonna have to hit a combo here. So we, we won't want it to be known that we killed the dragon. We don't want it to be known that anything. Oh my god. What? Bamboo? No, no, I'm gonna hit a combo in a second. Don't hope fall in that hole. Oh! I legitimately almost went right in there. How freaking, how would we freaking heck far is this? We're gonna run out of ender port, or uh, end eyes. Oh, I just hit, I hit, <laughs> I hit a nasty combo. Alright, only one way to go down. <laughs> I wanna build my base right in the middle of this lake. Like, this looks cool though, it'd be nice to build here because it's so flat. Yeah. And you can hit combos here. I didn't, th I've never, <sighs> what? I've never seen it be this far away. Before. Look how many cows there are, you think we should have a little feast? Hey Robert. Yeah. Do you know uh, what country Sneeve's from? Who? Sneeve. Um, Australia or New I think New Zealand? I forget which one. Or I don't he... ever want to say it because one both wolf and the other. Is he or is he British? You know what? I, I don't know. I'm like 80% sure he's from New Zealand. I thought he was British. I'm 20% sure he's British. He could be Australian still, but I don't know. Right, let me check. Oh, well, look at that hole. Watch out. Ancient city is in there for sure. Oh my god. Oh my god, Robert. Death right Hit a combo. No. Hit a combo, I PayPal you 50. $50 for hitting a combo? Yeah. No, no, because you, you can do it 100%, never mind. You can do it with a shield. <laughs> this is the furthest thing I've ever gone in Minecraft. I can't believe how far we're going. Oh my god. It's still going. Seriously, this is reminding me of that time I was hitting combos. Robert, the boat is leaving. Oh, nice. What? It's here? We've, we've gone far enough. Okay, go to that house right there. Let's just check that house really quick. I have to see what that is. Yeah, what the heck's going on? 
What's over here? Oh, witch. It's a witch's hut? Yeah. But, there'll be a lot of good stuff here. After we finally got there, Robert, I guess Robert, I think Robert needed to go to the washroom or something. I think maybe he said he had, he had eaten something not so good. I, I don't know. We, we both wanted to take a little break, but I, I saw, I saw something in the distance. And before I got off, I wanted to see what was, what that was. Yeah, I'm not going down there. Oh, they're coming out! How long do you get poisoned for? Six seconds. These burrows are creepy. Look, look at that. And then I thought, you know what? Let's let's get my good friend Robert to take a look in this hole. Go down there. What is this? Oh. Just go down there. Oh. Watch this. What is this? Watch what? Whoa. I'm not going down there. Why? Oh, it's messed up. You can go down there. There's golden apples down there. God apples. No, there's not. No, there seriously is. No, there's not. I hear so many spiders already. Oh, Sean. Oh my god. <laughs> They're creepy, man. Are they poisonous? Yeah, they are. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, Sean, there's so many down here. Here they all come. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my. We both wanted to know what was down there, and, uh, you know, we thought there might be an enchanted golden apple, or at least some reason that there'd be this giant infested spider hole out here. So we, we went in and started clearing it out. We went room to room, cutting down those webs, killing the spiders, killing the spawners, and we found a bunch of nothing. It, it was just a complete waste of time going down there, so that was, that was good. But you know what, what where we did find stuff, though, was when we finally got into the stronghold. This place was massive, and it's not the same as the usual stronghold because we're using the better strongholds mod. Neither of us had ever played with this mod before, so we had no idea what the layout of this place was going to be like or where we could find the portal room. So we spent a considerable amount of time searching this place for the portal room, and what a maze this place was. But it was good, though, because we found a ton of stuff, but we were being very, very careful not to take everything from the chest because our goal here was to make this place look fresh, like no one had been down here. So every time we opened a chest, we only took a, one or two little things and tried to make it seem like the chest had not been looted yet. When we finally did find the portal room though, we, we made a secret room near it and stored the stuff that we didn't want to bring into the Ender Dragon fight in there. We stashed it, filled the portal, and then realized that everyone can hear the, the sound it makes. All right, go in. If it's safe, you first. No, no, no. If it's safe, you write in chat, Cowabunga, okay? You first. Wh why did Ryan just say AO? I don't know. Did you hear that? Oh, I think the whole world hears it. Ryan? Let's blame it on Ryan. <laughs> What? Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. You're such a little baby. <laughs> oh, fine. Anyways, we went in and, uh, ooh, kinda, kinda made one crucial error. Okay, give me some bottles. Oh my god. I let, I put them all in the chest. You're kidding me. No, I'm not. <laughs> Can we make bottles out here with the sand? No, I can't. Oh my god. Truly? I swear to God, I'm... We forgot to bring bottles. And with only one way out of here, uh, that didn't include killing the Ender Dragon, uh, it meant that one of us had to die. Now this was kind of a big deal, because whoever died was gonna lose a part of, uh, health permanently. And, uh... I, I didn't want it to be me. So thankfully, Robert volunteered, and... He, uh dropped himself into the void. After that, he grabbed all the all the glass bottles we needed, came back in, 
we filled them to the brim with uh, dragon fire or whatever it's called, dragon breath, killed the ender dragon, and got out. Hey, all good! Two men, two men slaughtering an ender dragon, getting the stuff. The next step here, though, and this was the most important one, was we wanted to make sure that no one else was going to find the portal room. And to do this, it was so simple. We just built a false wall on our way out. It made it look like one of the regular walls in here. It took us so long to find this room. And it was open. Can you imagine how long it would take for a man to, to find this thing? When it was hidden? That's exactly what we wanted. And I don't want to spoil anything, but my man Lagundo spent, uh... He spent some hours down here looking for this portal. You gotta go watch this video? He, this worked, okay? It worked. Anyways, we did that, we got our stuff, and we raced home. I finally had enough XP to get uh, power 5 on my bow, so I did that uh, when I got back to Robert's, and I was, I was a very, very happy man to finally have that done. Lastly, I needed to repair and upgrade some more of my tools, so I did a bit of mining, and it was, you know, it's kind of boring to watch, so I'm gonna watch the whole thing. You're gonna see me just get- I, I got a bunch of diamonds, alright? And especially because now that I had, like, looting th or whatever, uh, Fortune 3 on one of my pickaxe, I was finding a ton of diamonds. I was a man who had more diamonds than you know what to do with, so, uh... I enchanted some stuff, I repaired some stuff, I was a man in very, a very good position at this point. And when that was all finally taken care of, it was finally time for phase three. Uh, okay, phase three, uh, fortify. This guy now needed to build a beautiful base, but not just any base, a base that would also act as the world's biggest trap. A, a place that no one knew existed until they did know existed, at which point they died. That that was phase three. Build the perfect building. Okay? I waited a long time to start building my base. Now, now I finally could. And the, my base was a, a very integral part of my plan. The base was the heart of everything. I was going to need this thing to be in tip-top shape and designed meticulously in a way that would work exactly for what I had planned on purchasing. But first, I needed somewhere to build. I needed to be able to see completely around me, 360 degrees, as if anyone was sneaking up on me. I needed the terrain itself not to be grass, because I, I was going to put down traps and everyone would just see them. They'd see, like, stone pressure plates. And it couldn't be that. And I also didn't want to just be in a desert, because, uh, I don't know, it's kind of... I, I, don't, I didn't want to be in a desert. It's boring to be in a desert, right? That's, that's why. But I found the perfect spot. This was, it was kind of like a desert. It had sand, it had gravel, it had some, like, dirty grass. I don't know what it's called. And bushes over. This place was absolutely perfect. So once I had this place locked in, I got to work. I got bored of building, okay? That, that was like four hours of straight building. Well, well, not quite four hours. It was like three hours and 20 minutes. I, I was the man who had enough, right? I, was, I, was, I needed a break from building. So I went up and met with uh, my man, Kipley. Kipley had joined very, very late. I think because she was like in jail in real life or something. I don't know. Who knows what a man like Kipley is up to. Anyways, when I met up with her, something very interesting happened. Hello. Hey. Uh, how's it going? It's going good. Hey, you got iron armor already. It's pretty good. Uh, you're looking very fancy. You got any any extras for the poor, you know? Uh, some, some I do. Or? I do, but I forgot to bring them. Next time I will. I'm not going in here. I'm not going to die. I'm going to take a peek, though. I can do this. I want to go in. Uh, we'll keep out sign. What? Join the mushroom cult to survive purge night. Kipley. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, I just want to talk, you Where know? Did I you get listen. That? I listen, alright? You want to survive purge night, right? Of okay. course. You want to become a, a brother in arms? Yes. Right? Just. There's a cult, okay, and you just wear this on purge night, and you know you won't uh, you won't die. Player, how did you even get this? That is cult secret information. Who else has this? I gave it to Legs. Legs is all that knows. 
Okay, okay. I don't know if I'm gonna give one to Shadow yet. I don't think I was supposed to get that mushroom head. I, I think I was only given it because I saw what was in Laguna's house. And that put me on high alert. And you'll see later, this, this whole mushroom head thing, it, it led to a lot of problems for a lot of people, okay? This got- this, this got- this spiraled out of control. Anyways, I, after that I was ready to start building again. So, uh, b back to the building montage. Okay, board of building again. That was... I can only do so much of that before I start wanting to do something different. And this time, what I wanted to do differently was meet up with none other than the man himself, Lagundo. He said he wanted to talk to me and uh, to come to the village near his house. And then he gave me coordinates. And when I got there, uh, he was on top of a mountain with a whole bunch of phantoms. Or, there was something going on. Anyways, start talking to the guy. And I have information that might keep you alive. Okay. I don't, I don't know if this is true or false. I've heard this through someone, through someone else. So you have to take it with a grain of salt, but it is relevant to you. So take it how you will. I, I told you I'd bring you information if I heard anything. So, yeah. so there's people are under the assumption that you and Ryan are working together and he is planning an attack on you. I, my, I suspected that if, if you guys did have some sort of alliance, he was planning on breaking it. No, I, I mean, if, it's vague. It's legitimately, literally super vague. It was like, we both have god apples on day one. Woo! And then we broke and I haven't seen him since. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I just figured I'd share that information with you. You're the only person I've tried to become an ally with. All right, well... And I guess technically friendly with Robert. See this? A shroom hat? Head? Yeah. Wait, where'd you get that from? I found it in a chest. Where? It, it like one of the other dungeons or hats or, or like locations yeah, or stuff? Yeah, and there's another one of those zombie things. It was like already looted, but I saw this just in a chest in there. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay, Sean, follow me, Sean. I need to show you something. <laughs> Come in. Oh. Welcome to the bunker. Uh, you need punch too. <laughs> wow. Lagundo showed me his secret bunker. The question I had though was, how many people had he also shown this? And was it a trap for Purge Knight? Shortly after meeting up with Lagundo, uh, I went home and started working on my base again. I, I had it mostly complete. The only thing that I still needed to do was set up all of the traps and arm them. The problem with doing that now is that a bunch of stupid mobs would walk on top of them and detonate them. So this was something that I was going to need to do later on, pretty much the night of the purge, or at least uh, close to the night of the purge. For now, it was it was time to finally enter phase four, instigate. Phase four, my personal favorite, instigate. During this phase, I would make everyone distrust one another and cause a lot of paranoia and confusion. And to do this, I would simply put traps all over the entire map in front of everyone's base in random points and just try to cause as much confusion and distrust as possible. My plan was to booby trap outside of people's houses and hopefully, hopefully, cause some distrust and paranoia between everyone. For example, here's Sneeve's big, kind of like a pumpkin looking house. I don't, know, I don't know what this guy was built. It was like Halloween town here. This is Sneeve's house. What I did was I made sure that no, Sneeve was not online and that whoever else was online was not nearby. And I sat there for a few minutes, looked around, made sure no one was there. And then very quickly, I started digging a hole, a very, very deep 16, I think maybe it was 20. I don't know. It was a very deep hole directly in front of his door. I got this thing very, very deep. Then I climbed out, put a block of TNT down, uh, one block below where I started digging the hole, and then put a piece of gravel on top of that and a pressure plate. Now to blend this in a little bit more, I put some more gravel pieces around the door so it blends in pretty well. Now, whenever Sneeve steps on this one block, presumably when he walks out of his door, a man is gonna fall down 16 or 20 blocks, killing him and removing one of his max hearts before purge night. And the, the true benefit here 
would be to get him to distrust everyone on the server because he couldn't be sure who set this trap. And you know what? Sneeve fell for it. You got to go watch this video to see that though. But here's the thing though. Sneeve's house, that wasn't the first house I booby trapped. No, I had already set up several of these bad boys. Rewind, rewind the whole thing. Go back, go back, keep going back, go back to uh, several, okay, here we go, several days ago. I had set up another one of these traps outside of Ryan's house. I had walked up and down this man's staircase over and over and over again, trying to figure out which block he would be most likely to step on that I could actually hide this trap on. And I settled on uh, this one right here. And I dug, again, a huge pit that goes down, way, 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 way down, got to the top, put a piece of TNT down, and then a piece of gravel on top, and a stone pressure plate to hide the whole thing. And you know what? Ryan also fell for this. You gotta go watch his video. These things were incredible. I also tried to set up another one. Uh, there, there was this base that someone had built near spawn, and at the time, I didn't know whose base it was. This was several days ago as well. I had no idea who had built this base, but I thought, you know what? Let's, let's, let's give him a nice warm welcome by sending him a booby trap in front of that door. So I logged on late at night, very, very late at night, hung around for like an hour at spawn, looking around, making sure no one was there and no, nothing was going on. And then once I felt like it was safe to do so, I started digging a hole underneath the staircase. And then I got caught. Sean, what are you doing under my base? This is your base? Is this yours? Yes! Okay. I have to talk to you about something. Okay. I need to come in. Sure. Is this actually your base? This, I built this last night! Okay, I thought this was Kipley's base. You didn't hear me talking just now? No. Did you see me out there? I just saw your name tag. I heard blocks breaking that weren't me, okay, and I'm okay. like, wait, what's going on? I thought it was Kipley's base, so I was getting ready to put a big trap in front of it. <laughs> okay. Because it was right by, it's right next to spawns. So I figured she just joined, and well, well, good thing I know it's your base now, because there was about to be a huge trap in front of it. Is there still a huge trap in front of it? Nope, there was about to be, though. <laughs> if you caught me at the exact right time, that would have caused a lot of problems. Because Sean. What? Sean. Well, you know, <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, yeah, no, I was like, I, I can't enter it, so I wasn't going in. No, you can enter, you can enter, but no, I'm just telling you, Sean, this is this place is going to be a lot of problems for people. Oh, I see. <laughs> this th this was a close one, but this was also back. Be this this happened before Lagundo had showed me his secret bunker, so obviously. He still trusted me after this, which was, uh, that was good. Now all I had to do was sit back, relax, and wait for the traps to go off. And I cannot wait to watch everyone else's videos and see them fall for these traps. Because this was, this was incredible work on my part. Okay? Anyway, so Purge Night wasn't far off now, and I still needed to get all of my traps set up at my house. My plan to survive Purge was very straightforward. I had one rule and one rule only. Do not, under any circumstance, for any reason, leave my house on purge night. Just stay in there and make that thing as impenetrable as possible and that if anyone did enter my premises, make it so that they would die. It, it was that simple. Now, ideally, the distrust I had been sowing between everyone and all the traps I've been setting up and all the lies I had been telling would make everyone not trust each other and hopefully try to kill one another, completely forgetting about me and leaving me safe. However, the more likely outcome here would be that uh, everyone would figure out that it was me all along pulling the strings, and you'll see later on I start to get a little bit carried away with the, um, the you know, manipulation is a strong word. I got a little bit carried away with the persuasion I was doing. Inevitably, I felt though is that everyone was going to figure out that it was me setting up these traps and all this stuff, and they would eventually come to kill me on Purge Night. But I would be ready, and so would my base. I would win. Surrounding my base, would there would be so many of those pitfall traps, Along with that, there would be a sea of pressure plates. Some of them real, some of them not real. So as they walked across them, they, no one's going to walk across those. They see that, they're going to go, I'm not, walk, I'm not doing it. Because one of them will go off and they'll realize how dangerous of a situation they are in. And then they'll realize that they need to look where they're walking because they don't want to step in a trap. And I would just light them up with arrows. If they did somehow manage to get across my, my minefield, well then at my base... 
I would then make them chase me into a series of underground tunnels where I and only I knew the correct route through these tunnels. Any deviation from the correct route would result in whoever was chasing me to fall into yet another pitfall trap. Not to mention the tunnels themselves would look like the exact place that you would not want to walk into. I'm talking a two by one tunnel with sand floors and pressure plates everywhere. This was my ultimate plan. So I started digging that all out and setting up more distracting objects in the field or I was putting down like tree bushes and putting down sand and gravel and just trying to make this place, I was planting bamboo, trying to make this place look like a huge mess that you, you it's very hard to tell where you're walking. It was gonna be good. In my tunnel, I replaced the floor with gravel so that it looked like if they followed me down there, they wouldn't feel, they, they, no man would feel safe going through here, right? Then at the very end of the, the maze, I set up a fake wall, which was, uh, I used stone blocks and pistons or sticky pistons to make this thing that I could run into and press a lever and then it would look like just a dead end. That was the plan. So I spent the next several hours building this whole thing out and I got it mostly done, although I had not set up the traps completely yet, but it was pretty much ready to go. Uh, and I was also very bored of doing this. I'm, I'm a man who, you know, I can't, I can't stay in one place too long because I start to get bored. So I went over to Ryan's castle, just unprovoked, unannounced. I decided to walk over to Ryan's castle and Robert was there for some reason. Hello. I tell you. What? Jesus. What are you doing here? Oh my gosh. Hey. What, do you mean, what am hey, I Sean? doing here? I, I, I announced my pre I, that I wanted to meet with him. Why are you meeting with Ryan? I don't know. Why are you I'm here? I'm just talking. Because Ryan's the only guy that I haven't met with yet. So, uh, what are you, what are you doing here? I want to talk to you. You want to, want to talk to me? I want to talk to you. And I, you know. What's up with you, Robert? I just, I'm just coming to say hi. I'm going to go to the end soon. And I just wanted to say hi before where, I did that. Where'd your armor go? It's in my chest. Did I you see. set that trap, Sean? What trap? Oh, well, here, I'll show you. Right, right over here, uh, where this little cow. Why are you all of a sudden here? talking about a trap, Sean? There yes. Was, uh... <laughs> nope. But I fell for one of those. Yeah, it was uh Wait wait wait, don't say, don't say, don't say, don't say. What was your trap? What was your trap? It was a piece of gravel with TNT underneath it and a pressure plate. I stepped on it by the tree and fell and almost died. Thankfully I did not. So so someone's setting these traps. Yes. It's just a madman. And I saw I don't think Shadow would do it. I saw another one by um, uh, do you, there's a, there's like one of those, not sandstone villages, what are they called? The Mesa villages by the river. That yeah, village, yeah, one there. Th that village had, had one in it. I heard that's where the Lagunda was staying. Did he trap his own house though? I don't know. I doubt it. Maybe he's not living there anymore. Yeah. Well, there was one there. I just left it because I want someone to fall into it. But. Oh, <laughs> that's so mean. That's fair. I'm not going to remove it. Someone worked on that. Ryan, who are you working with? Who who have you spoken to? Who what's your plan? For, pretty much I've just spoken to Robert and um we spoke a, a little while earlier. Um then uh you and Kipley are the only two I haven't talked to. The other uh the other guys we don't have anything formal with, but what about Lagundo? Haven't uh haven't talked to him since like day one and a half. You guys aren't planning some sort of secret alliance at the end or anything like that? No. What about the Golden Boys? The Golden Boys? Golden What's Apple that? Golden Apple Boys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like day one. Because I uh, found one at the at the warden. It was like, wow, I've got one too. He's like, that's cool. That was the extent of that. We haven't done anything with it. Hmm. How many hearts you got left? Most of them. Why are you looking for my I want to know you got. I know nothing about Ryan. I've been in everyone's base. Here, here, come, come on in, come on in. I'm worried about you, Ryan. Oh, you know, you know. I, I was working on my on my ceiling. Go through your chest. Go through your chest. Got some, got some stuff up here. Yeah, you know. We go up to the room. It's pretty flat currently. I was, I was gonna say. Let me ask you this question, Ryan. If you had to target oh someone, who are you going after? I mean, I don't really have any enemies currently. Name one but, person. You um, have to name one person. Of who you'd who you'd want to kill if you had to. Hmm. It kind of depends. Um, I'm not liking this answer. Would okay. Well, judging by what what you've been saying, Lagundo, if he's what, spreading he's... The, the word that we're doing stuff or anything like that, you know, I don't want I don't want his name 
tarnishing my reputation. Because I believe, I still kind of believe that the two of you are working together. I mean, what what proof could I present to you? you, you there's no proof you could give. No. I just have this hunch. After hearing it from like three people, it makes me worried. So what, there, what is, there is an alliance? No, there isn't. I did not trust Ryan at all. And, and I was 99.9% .9 sure that he and Lagundo did have a secret alliance that they he was pretending didn't exist. Absolutely, these guys were working together. But what was their overall plan? I had no idea. You know, you, know, you, you could smell it on Ryan. He was up to something. Man, this man was doing something and I didn't know what. I was also worried about Shadow and Sneeve working together. I was afraid that they too were planning something for me. So to... I, I had a plan to try to separate them a little bit, spread them apart, you know, so a little bit of more distrust between the two of them. So I asked Shadow if he wanted to meet up. Okay, yeah, so I met with Ryan. Uh, I asked if he's working with Lagundo. He said, absolutely not. I brought I brought up the Golden Boys. He goes, let me guess, Shadow said that. I said, oh, I've heard it from a few people. Shadow was one of them. And he went, yeah, of course, Shadow was trying to listen in on one of our conversations. <laughs> what? Yeah. So, uh, he goes, but I have not worked with Lagundo. I haven't spoken to him since day one, and I did not believe him. Oh, yeah, because that's the only time I've seen them together was day one, and I was I was standing right next to them. Oh. <laughs> <I> was... <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I asked him just out of curiosity. I'm like, who would you go after on Purge Night? And he said uh, that his target, uh, if he had to choose someone, not being forced to, would be Lagundo, mm -hmm. uh, which I, I doubted. Um, but that's what he was saying. It's. I think it's too convenient. He's trying to. He's trying to deflect too hard. Yeah. And it's. It's kind of obvious. I. Got, I got a question for you. You had. You had the mushroom helmet. I'm assuming you got that from Kipley. Yes. Do you have one? I do. I have one. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're wearing one with, with Robert. Yeah. So I'm assuming that's like a like she was like, if 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 we have it, she's not gonna attack me. So I was like, okay, cool. I'll 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 deal with that. There's no like there's no ties to it or anything. It's just. Yeah, no, I got it too. From my understanding. But I saw this. Hold on, if you come here. There was a chest right here with a sign. If you jumped, you could see it that uh, she was giving it to Lagundo too, the mushroom head. Oh. Yeah. But no. why give it to everybody? I don't know. She she doesn't give it to everyone. Robert wants one. Kim wants one. Right. So are you the one going around trapping everyone's front door? No, I'm actually not. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not. Okay. So I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Sure. Okay, so my tower, Yeah. the whole reason why I built it yeah. is that I'm going to lace the entire center of it with TNT. Oh my god. And the if you, if you go in, there's a spiral spiraling staircase that goes right to the top. Yeah. So if someone flies into the top and starts to come down, they'll have to keep going around and around. It gives me time to light it, oh. and it's just going to blow. And you'll take him out. Yeah, wow. Have you heard, okay, I guess I'll ask you this. Have you heard of anyone who might be planning on going after me? No. Okay, good. I, I've, no. he I've heard maybe Sneeve wants you. Sneeve wants to go after you? No. Or me? He, you are an option that Sneeve would consider. Oh, yeah, and I, I was thinking about that, so I gave him a couple apples so that if, if he does come after me, his audience is going to hate him. Yeah, <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> Now I needed to, to uh, go talk to my dear friend Sneeve to uh, b both push him away from Shadow a little bit and also pay very close attention to this man, this man's accent, to try to get a, get a positive ID on where this man is from. Did you set the trap outside the front door, no, by no, the way? No, no, but that's something I do have to talk to you about. All right. I think, I think I know who did it, but I, I could be do wrong. You? I could be wrong. It depends who on... Who did it? Well, see, it depends on who's in your alliance, if you have an alliance. Because this is, this is, this oh. is also why I wanted to visit you, because this is going to tell me about, like, who's working with who. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, my sus suspicion is that the person who's booby-trapping doors, because you're not the first person, is Lagundo. But ah. I, I don't know if you're working with him or not, because if you are, then obviously he wouldn't booby-trap your door. Uh, no, well... It would be silly, I think, to uh, booby trap your allies' doors, unless, yeah. of course, it was part of some conspiracy. But no, I'm 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 not working with Lagundo. In fact, Lagundo is very much uh, the the he's he's going to be trouble on uh, Purge Day. Yes, um, that's what uh, I I'd be looking for alliances to help with that. That's uh so yeah, that's one of the things that 
it seems like everyone's kind of aware that he seems to be the, the big trouble boy this time. Yeah. Um, because he's, pl- he's playing hard, you know? <laughs> playing real hard. How, how closely are you working with Shadow? Are you friends with Shadow? <clears throat> yeah, I'm friends with Shadow. I think that he's... He, I, I feel that he won't betray me or attack me. I, I'm fr- I'd say I'm friendly with him on the scale. Okay, okay. It, well, if I mean, if you two are in an alliance, then he won't mind me telling you, but he's... Uh, He's got he got the uh, thalassium armor or whatever it is. But yeah, like I I, I if you two are in alliance, then I, I don't see why he wouldn't. Um, Tell me. Uh, yeah. Mind. Well, yeah. he didn't he didn't mention it, so. Hmm. Keeping secrets, eh, Shadow? Hmm. Interesting. And then uh, Kipley, I've spoken to Kipley. She shared some information with me about mushrooms. Oh. Have you heard anything about that? About mushrooms. Yeah. No. So you know Shadow has one of the heads. Lagundo obviously has one because uh, he had it in his base, and that's where I discovered it. And then okay. I saw a sign outside of Robert's house saying, Join the Mushroom Cult, and I cut the sign down before Robert could see it. Oh. So. Okay. That's that's so many people. That's uh, So that's Robert, Robert, you, Kipley, Lagundo, Shadow... So that just leaves Ryan and Sneeve. No, I don't think. <laughs> and Kim. I don't think. I don't think Robert got in because today he was asking for it. He came up to me. He's like, "What's this mushroom thing? What's this mushroom thing?" And I wouldn't tell him. Well, here's here's the thing, right? I, I don't think that I think if the mushroom the mushroom men are really uh, trying to make a big group, then um, we we need to have a counter group. Yeah. That, that's that's the first thing. Um, and then the second thing is is that. What what happens once the mushroom men succeed? Are they all going to sleep together? I, I doubt that. Yeah, so, probably not. Um, so I, I think you can pretty much count that Lagundo is not going to sleep together with the rest of the mushroom boys. I'm I'm fe- I'm telling you, Sean. I reckon that the, I reckon the mushroom men is uh, the reverse bugaboo. Uh, I reckon it's got to be. You're right. You're probably right. I will. Uh, yeah. Good call. Okay. So, 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 per- Purge Day, y- you and I, we're, we're, we're bud buds. Yep. We're not going to attack each other. You flash um, this. If anyone flashes this, oh, well. <laughs> yeah, <there we> go. <laughs> this is how you know. This is how you know we're in business. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> All right. Okay. At, at this point, I was absolutely certain that that mushroom cult uh, was actually a system that Lagundo had developed to target everyone who was involved in the previous bugaboo incident from the previous purge. And if anyone did have a mushroom head, they weren't, in fact, safe, but rather on a kill list. So if someone showed a mushroom head to someone, they would know, okay, this is the person we're going to kill on purge night. Which made sense because everyone who had received a mushroom head was someone who was involved in the bugaboo. I felt like I was understanding their plan and it was unraveling before me. The next day I met up with Shadow and uh, we, we started discussing some of these things. And it turns out that him and Sneeve must have met up after we chatted because he had a, he got one of those chicken heads indicating that he was in the alliance. But more interesting than the, the chicken head, and honestly the chicken head's kind of... Shadow and I had found something that somebody probably did not want us to see. Over the past several days, Shadow and I had spent hours, hours discussing what was happening in the game and who was planning what and who was aligned with who and what they might be doing on purge night and where they might be going and where information is coming from and who is talking to who the most and what we were we were two men who were going real hard on figuring everything out and one of the things that we were very certain on was that lagundo was planning on killing us both because of this i disclosed to him that i knew about lagundo's secret bunker and i knew where it was So both Shadow and I took a trip out to the desert and started to swim around in the river where Lagundo had previously shown me the entrance to his bunker. However, we weren't allowed in, so I couldn't go into the bunker because it was a closed door and also because I actually could not find the uh, entrance anymore. But I wanted to show Shadow that I knew where this was. When we were swimming down in that river, though, we were hearing villagers confirming that it was there. However, I just couldn't find the door to get in. Then I had a very faint memory very, very faint memory of when Lagundo showed me his bunker, I thought that I saw a nether portal in it. And if there was a nether portal inside of it, well, that means if we were in the nether, we might be able to find the other end of that portal. And considering that there was a nearby portal next to the village, his portal, if it existed, should be theoretically pretty close to that portal. And if we could find that portal in the nether, we could then theoretically enter Lagundo's base in a legal way if the portal was in his base and not closed off in a room or something like that. 
At least we could go look and see what we saw. So that's exactly what Shadow and I did. We went over to the portal, jumped in, and started looking around for another nether portal. And after about an hour or so of searching, we found it. We found another nether portal. So we went through it. This is not... Oh my god. What? Don't go in. What? Is he rigging up? The door was open when I came through. He's, he's ringing his base to blow. That's why he showed you it. Oh, let's get out of here. This was it. This was absolutely what Lagunda was planning for me on Purge Night. First, he invited me over. We're genuinely set for, for this. And now I've fully committed to this. As long as there's no bugaboo going on no, no. here. No, there's no bugaboo. We're, we are probably the best equipped for this minus like a big trap that we fall for. Then when I would enter his bit bunker, this man would blow me up, much the same as I had attempted to do to him in the previous purge. This was it. We, we had figured the whole thing out. And right then and there, I made the decision that Lagundo, this man that I went into this purge with every intention on trusting and not going after, had to be a man that was gonna die. I, I was just shocked that he would leave the door open like that for everyone to see. Now we needed to meet up with Robert to tell him what we had found. <laughs> How close are you with Lagundo? I've interacted with him. I've interacted with him one time. I've been truthful with that to everyone. I've, yeah. I've, been, I've been seeming like Ryan's been lying to our faces. Now is the time to be very honest about this. I'm being 100% honest. Man. Did he invite you anywhere on Purge? No. Did he suggest anything on Purge too? I, I talked to him one time this okay. whole time. And did that he was show the you? Boys rod. Did he show you any sort of um, mushroom stuff? No, he did not. I, I, I did not talk to him. I'm, I'm not lying. I, I, I don't think you're lying. Once. I don't think you're lying. That's not the point. That's not the point here. Okay. 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 I'm trying to figure this something out here. Okay. Did Kipley speak? To you? Actually, Kipley was supposed to speak to you. I stopped that from happening. Didn't. Didn't, didn't talk to her once. I'm gonna show you something. Come here. What? Is that Kim's head? <laughs> <laughs> I want you to. I want you to bring me this on Purge Night. Okay. <laughs> Wait, that, sorry, that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. We filled Robert in, and but none of us really knew what what our next move was or what we were gonna do on Purge Night. Of course, my plan was to still try and stay inside and hope for the best. But I. I there were still a lot of loose ends and things that didn't quite make 100% success. Like Kipley, for example. Where does Kipley fit into this whole plan? That means she was involved with Lagundo and maybe she was planning on... I had to speak to Kipley. So we invited her over to Robert's house. I think Ryan was there, Shadow was there. And we were all hanging around for a little while. I, to be honest, I don't know what we were doing. We were there for a while. But when Kipley said that she needed to leave and go back to her base, I followed her to see what she was really up to. I need to go do some things. All right. Specifically, enchant my armor because I am very poor. All right. See you later. I came out here to kill some zombies for ex experience points. Experience points. Yeah. What do you uh, what do you need to enchant? I need to uh, uh, enchant my armor. It's fully enchanted. No, 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 not my a different piece. A different piece. Where's your base? Why do you need to know that? Listen, I'm poor. What do you want from me? Okay, t tell me about this mushroom thing. You got a mushroom head. Yes. Right. That is your purge mask. If you are wearing that, you'll be safe. Is that, that it? That's all you need to know. But who yes. who orchestrated this? Who I, I want to know who. I can't help but feel like it's a it's trap for me. Well, why, why don't we ask Shadow behind the tree over there? Well, oh. What? I'm I, not behind a tree. I, I didn't even know Shadow was here. <laughs> well, he's got one too. I was uh I was yes. uh looking well, for mushrooms. Three of us have 
have a mushroom head, okay? I was it's looking for mushrooms. Cult okay. of the shrooms, people! Alright? I will yes. not stab you guys if you don't stab me, alright? We stick to the cult. Okay. Okay, that... that I, I think Kipley is trustworthy. I, I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, I was basically ready for Purge Night. It, it, I, I just wanted to stir the pot one last time. One little flick to get things really going. And that was Kim. What are you doing in my water? You, you cannot kill my dogs! <laughs> oh! Kim! You cannot, ki you cannot kill my dogs. Uh, you're disqualified, I decided. I gotta tell you something. Okay. Wait, you're shaking now. Lagunda's coming for you. Is that you can just say that and leave? Say more. Come back. Now you might be wondering why why am I doing this to this man? Well the, the answer is very simple. I knew that after I sailed away. Kim would follow me and he would figure out where my base was because inevitably I did want these people to come to my house so that I could run them through my maze. And if Kim knew where it was, that information would leak. And sure enough, several moments after I got home, after I sailed away from Kim's base, I look out across the water and who do I see? Mr. Kim sailing right up. Hello? So this is where you live, huh? Your secret... What is that? No! Do it... What is this? How, how, how could you? Explain yourself. I'm taking that on purge night. You gonna wear my head? I'm taking it off you. Oh, he's a threat. <laughs> I see. After Kim had left, I had one last thing to do. Practice running through my maze. I ran through it over and over and over and over again until I had the path completely memorized. And I, well, I don't know why I wrote, wrote memorized there. I had a piece of paper on my desk with the left and right written down. Anyways, with that, I set up all my traps. I got everything ready, got in my tower, and I was ready for the purge. When the purge began, I sat in my house and waited and waited and waited. And nothing happened. Not for a while, at least. That was until I saw an arrow fly by my head. Kim, you're not gonna get here. I can hear you and see you, Kim. <laughs> Don't even bother. You, you came here. Kim. You're to murder me? No, Kim, you're trying to murder me right now. Kim, stop. You won't, it won't Why? work. It's not gonna work. Why? You'll die. Why not? Kim. Why you no die? Because I'm not gonna die. Listen. We can both live. What? Kim. What other traps do you have here? You just killed half oh, your dogs. I did. Listen. There's no point in fighting. I, 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 I'm trying to throw Lagundo off by getting to you. Don't walk over here. The whole thing is rigged. Oh yeah, and I could tell. <laughs> yes. Listen, I'm not Why can't I kill you? What do you mean I cannot kill you? You won't kill me. I have prote projectile protection and blast protection. I could blow this place oh, up and be okay. I, don't even bother coming over here. Ooh. Listen. Lagundo yes. is planning to kill us all. I wasn't joking about that. I'm not trying to kill you. Okay. I, ke I keep sending, I keep telling him I'm going to your place and stuff and acting like I'm trying to kill you because he's going to try to meet or try to kill me out on the water. He has an Elytra. All right. His entire base is rigged and he's trying to get us to go into it. Or he will try to get you to go into it. All right. And then I will return to my base. Jesus. Look at that, that guy, man. Somehow, I, and I, I don't know how how he believed this, I convinced Kim that, that, I, that I was invincible and I couldn't be killed. <laughs> and he, for some reason, he believed me and that was enough to send him back. So I just watched the clip. Where, just watched the clip again where he 
he blows up one of his dogs and you just hear him go sorry <laughs> okay. it's so funny it's so funny okay anyway anyway so kim left he left my house because I, I think he would have killed me, to be honest, if he had to keep he, keep shooting those arrows at me. He probably would have got me, but thankfully he left. I don't know I don't know how I convinced him to leave, but anyways, he, he was gone. So then I was just hanging out in my tower a little bit more, waiting, watching the chat, messaging people like Lagundo, who, who was trying to, at this point, really convince me to go meet up with him, and there was not a chance I was going to do that. So I kept kind of just delaying it, telling him, hey, no, wait, wait a little bit longer. No, hold on, I got turned around. Oh, hold on, can't do that. Oh, Kim's at a... Just, just, just basically delaying meeting up with this guy. All the while talking to Shadow, figuring out where things, where people are, trying to track how far Lagunda was moving, because it seemed like he was moving very quickly. You know, this stuff is boring. Basically, what had happened was I had got wind that there was fighting going down at spawn, and that if I made it to spawn, I could then get to Shadow's tower where I'd be safe. And I know what you're thinking. Sean, you had one rule. Do not leave your house on purge night under any circumstance for any reason. So here I was leaving my house on purge night for a very bad reason uh, and a bad circumstance. However, the only thing I, I, I felt safe doing is because I brought two invisibility potions with me. And these, would, these would carry, hopefully if I got into trouble, I could just drink one of these and run. And that's exactly what I had to do. Because as I started sailing there, you know who was patrolling the ocean? I guess he thought he was a pirate now. Kim. Sean, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I was to see what it was. No, it's me. You did they leave? Oh, yeah, just now. Because I heard stuff's about to go down. Yeah, between Robert and uh, the Gudo? Yeah, they're fighting at spawn. Can I trust you? Why did you stop here? Because I saw you in the boat, and you got me nervous now. Wh why should I be nervous? You're the guy who is unkillable. <laughs> well, I mean, as a hypothetical. What do you mean, as a hypo- huh? I mean, I'm killable, but it's going to be difficult. You said you can take a ton of TNTs, you didn't even flinch off my arrows. Yeah, at my base, it's fine. What? Well, you, you have a beacon, is that what you're saying? Do you want to go to, do you want to go spy on them? Where are they? At spawn, I want to get there, but you've got me stressed out now in your boat. You're, like, are you? you're like a pirate patrolling the seas. Arr, arr. Okay, I'm going to I shoot you. No, you won't be sh I shoot you. Oh, never mind, I don't shoot you. I will never shoot you again. I needed to get to Shadow's base. That's where everyone was, apparently. And in hindsight, you know, I probably should not have gone here. Probably should have done something different. But you know what? I did. I was there. Look at this. Going up the tower. Boom. There's everyone. I told them I was going to bugaboo them. It was the whole thing. We were all, yeah, look at that. Look, here we are. All sitting around having fun. I went up and, yeah, nearly everyone was there. It was Kipley, Sneeve, Robert, Shadow. The only people, and this is interesting, the only people who were not in the tower at this time was Kim. Again, I guess he would, had become a pirate for Purge Night. Lagundo and Ryan. And seeing neither Lagundo or Ryan there on Purge Night, that told me everything. It confirmed in my mind what I was suspecting. That the two of them were working together. And this alone was enough to make me declare that we should go to Ryan's tower and slaughter him. It's been fine. How about we do this? Screw it. I've been trying not to conspire to kill anyone. We'll just do this. We'll go kill Ryan. Once Ryan's dead, we go kill Kim, and then the five of us just slaughter Lagundo. We go to bed, purge over. Let's not. <laughs> hey, hey, Ryan. Hey, Ryan, you want to help us I, slaughter I, some people? I had your back. I had your back. I didn't want to kill you, Ryan. <laughs> I know you did, Robert, but the rest of you guys are snakes. When we found where, when we found Ryan and dragged him out, we stripped that man down, took all of his gear, and made him follow us around. Because... If he was working with Lagundo, which he still, to this day, even after, it says that he wasn't, but you know, I know you never know, right? You never know with this man, right? We, we brought him down to the spawn, and we started chatting in, in main chat, saying that we were here at spawn, and we got Ryan, and all this stuff, and we just kind of waited for something to happen. And sure enough, after a little while, out across the water, 
You saw Lagundo and Kim. Kim and Lagundo. Down there. Down to the water. On the, on yeah. the trees. Yeah. I spotted them and they started coming at me. There is it easy with Kim? Yep. Yeah. They're both yeah, just sitting there okay, talking. New plan, new down. plan, new plan. Then they see me. Oh, yeah, Should we sacrifice new plan. Ryan? Should we sacrifice Ryan? Hey, hold, hold up, hold up. A, do we kill Ryan? I mean, I don't like that do idea. I don't like that idea. You know, you know what, Ryan? Ryan is complying, and so I'm, I'm, I'm okay with keeping him alive. All right, Ryan, you go up. You're the messenger. Go up and talk to them. If they remove their armor, they can try to purge. Okay, I'll let them know. So you're the example. <laughs> this can all end tonight. I mean, it, it's possible, Laguna. This is the best and only way. And as far as I know, <laughs> this is not the, everyone. The everyone can sleep through the night. Look, can Who you did hear me? this? Who did this? <laughs> who who put this big well, cabal together? Ryan, so I don't think there's, there's, there's no there. big cabal. <laughs> the, no. the man in blue up there. Why not? It's nice. It's really beautiful. Wait, why did you have fireworks? Who was shooting at me? Here, Kim. Huh? I know we're I know we're on good terms. We don't no one here needs to fight or die. But who was shooting at me? No, oh. Kim, come here. I know I declared war on you, Lagundo. Here, buddy. I know you've been asking for them. <gasps> Lagundo's got a pal. So I'll give you one. <clears throat> wow. Down, down he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, I love but getting you, full of hearts before I die. But you can you can join me if you want. No one's <laughs> going to, no one has to die. At, literally everyone here can survive the purge. I kinda I don't like standing in between all of these bows drawn at each other. Do you mind if I come back what up there, Sean? Now you stay in the middle! Kim, you <laughs> should okay. yeah, Ryan, Agreed. take the pants <laughs> off too. <laughs> the pa Kim, Wait, leave the man with some dignity, Sean. Leave the man with some dignity. No, keep him on. Why are you guys doing this, Ryan? <laughs> because he... you, do it, you do it too. Kim. I want to know, Ryan. Have you huh? been working with Lagundo? Now's the time to answer. Don't, I have don't, not been don't working don't be with Lagundo. Don't let them bully you. Ryan. I mean, don't let them. Don't, I don't let us know bully if I you. Should now, if, but if, like, listen, this is, listen. This is if the you last say yes, chance you have. We won't kill you. This is this is what started <laughs> the whole thing. Just be truthful. <laughs> Just be truthful. Sean, yeah. I am being 100 percent honest here. I have not worked with Lagundo. At all. Wait, Ryan. Step away. I'm blowing this strong set. That's a dog! There goes your oh. dog. Kim, you're gonna, get canceled. you're gonna get canceled, Kim. I think Kim might be trying to rip tie it up here. I mean, no, I, was, I was told... Is Kim that an act of war? <laughs> no, it's just Sean. I was, oh, see, oh, everyone... Why are you guys protecting Sean? He's causing this. You guys are being ma manipulated. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> Think for yourself. Ryan, run. Ryan, run. Ryan, Sheeps. run. Ryan, do not run. Ryan, hey, do not run. Just, if, if I get shot, I'm, I'm dead. Ryan, do not run. Come back up here, Ryan. Oh, look into Pell. Hello. Ryan, come up. <laughs> Who just tried to shoot Ryan? Who's trying to hit Ryan? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, no! Oh, Steve! <laughs> Who was that? Oh, Robert, what do you do? <laughs> what do you think, Robert? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do that. Shadow made me do it. I did not make you do that. Kim, Kim is way out in the ocean there. Who, where's where's the gundo? He's out in the middle. Who's got the horn? They're both out there. Well, poor Ryan. Where's where's Sean? Where's Sean? The, uh, somebody's purling oh. over here. Sean! What is happening? I'm trusting you guys. You ready? Sean? He's shooting at me! <laughs> what? Yes! Yes! No, we're talking! No, we're talking! Who are you fighting up? Everyone else. Here, come here, come here, come here, come here. On me. Sean, on me. Is this part of the plan all the time? I just... Do What's it? What, what the Let's hell is go. this? Fire, rest, speed, and strength. Go kill him. Kipley, we're coming for you. Only Kipley. Everyone else oh. can survive. Kill Kipley. Sean, I'm heartbroken. <laughs> do not kill Shadow. Unless he tried killing you. Go for Kipley. I... 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 <laughs>
I demand that thing. Keep Hello? Why? Where are people? What's happening? They're coming. They're coming. Okay. Do you have a potion? Um, oh, oh, oh. <gasps> Sean! Sean! Get over there, guys. Gotta help him. God. Hey, how's it going? He's gonna pull away, he's gonna pull away. Sean, Did don't try Kim? to kill us. I'm not gonna try to kill him. Where's Kim? He, he, I almost got him, he got down into the water. Damn, damn. Sean? Yes. You literally broke my heart there for two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I trusted this man for three days! <laughs> three days! Oh, I almost had Kim. I told you from the beginning, that's what I want. <laughs> that, was a good, that was a good plan. That, that was, was good, good that was good. You should have told us though. <laughs> yeah. You attacked me. You attacked me first. That was earlier. That's different. Why you do this? Why you do this? What are you doing, Kim? Why are you shooting me? I want. I want answers. Because you attacked my house, and you lied to everyone. I never. I never attacked your house. You did. Where are you running? What happened to Legundo? He's dead. He dead? He's dead. No, he's not. He's I think dead. Kim. He didn't die. No, Laguno's dead. He didn't die. Oh, we're trying. He's running. He's coming out for me. That's Kim. What's, what is happening here? All right, Kim. Kim. What are you doing? Kim, we can we can work with you, Kim. Where's Lagundo? He's dead. What do you mean? He's right. He's he's with us. Huh? Join us, Kim. Come back, Kim. No, wait. Let's keep some distance, please. <laughs> he's just gone. Kim, where are you going? Kim. You'll never run. Kim, Kim, don't run. Don't run, Kim! This will only be worse for you if you run. <laughs> I need to know what's going on first. Well, then don't run! <laughs> Kim! He's going where's oh, Lagundo? Wait a minute, it's freaking Trident! <laughs> he just keeps saying, where's Lagundo? And then he. Kim! Trident's on. He's gone! He's... Where'd he go? He took the Trident and zipped across the ocean. <laughs> oh my god. Kim, Kim, what are you doing? Okay, that's it. That's it. Just Where's Kim, Kim just stop. Just stop him. moving. Stop moving. Kim. No! Stop. I won't kill you. I won't kill you. Stop curling. Stop. Why you want you just kill stop. Me? I just said I won't kill you. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, stay alone. Don't let Sean come near me. <sighs> Sean has a pickaxe in his hand. Oh, he, he has an axe. He's tried murdering me multiple times. Sean, oh my god. <laughs> He's still hitting me. <laughs> the Sneev, the murderer. I don't, I don't know what to do in this situation. <laughs> Kim, you might have to die if you keep running. I'm, I'm running only because I'm getting hit by arrows and axes. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I want to take Kim. Strip, take strip Kim. down. Strip down right now. Strip down. Where is Lagundo? Strip down everything. He was, he was attacking me. I managed to escape. Strip everything, Kim. We won't kill you. <laughs> he keeps asking, where's Lagundo? <laughs> Lagundo isn't with you. He's not on Kim your knows side. Three cool saying. You should die, Kim. Oh, he has not! <laughs> yes, he yeah, has. where is he then? Where's Shadow? Oh my god. <laughs> I see someone bridge. hiding. <laughs> yeah, Shadow's up there. We're not gonna kill you. Kim, get over here! <laughs> you got a murderer north next to me! Wait, where's, where's Lagundo, Kim? Lagundo's coming. Lagundo. He's trying to shoot us with arrows now. <laughs> <laughs> Lagundo, enough is enough! Where's, where's Lagundo? We need to decide something. Someone has to die. 
was the only person who's murdered someone on this suit. <laughs> I put one. It was an accident. Oh no, Steve's gonna die now. Going on right now. Should we should we put on a should we put on a one we one battle? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most ridiculous ending to a scenario we've ever had. <laughs> I don't know. We can't kill each other. It's like it's like we're all just superpower. This fight lasted for a while and no one died. I mean, I guess Ryan died, but you know what? Uh, that, that man went out in the worst possible way. No dignity, no fighting, just executed. <laughs> so, and what was Kim, Kim going? Where is Lagundo? It's so funny. So, <laughs> Kim, Kim is the, the master of the purge in this one. So eventually, I, yeah, I, after seeing everyone fighting, I'm like, well, what am I doing here? Get back, go back to the tower. So I just left, went back to my tower. There's no way I'm dying out here on a beach like Ryan. So I got back to my tower. I waited and waited. And sure enough, everyone showed up at my tower. You and Shadow kill everybody else. What do you think? No. <laughs> Why not? Because it, will, it won't work. What do you mean it won't work? There were six of us hitting you and you didn't die. Yeah, and then it'll be three of us hitting. We all target one person. Easy peasy. There was only one of me being able to put out damage, and everybody spent all their equipment trying to fight me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep here in my house. Yeah, but you won't win if you sleep here in your house. Shadow is in for this. Me, you, and him. Turn on the other three. We kill them. It's over. We win. You survive the perch. Get them to come here, and I'll do it. What? You're my chimney? <laughs> They're coming. Right. Kim, <laughs> Kim and Sneeve just fought on top of the mob farm, and everybody else is heading this way to kill you. Hey. What are you guys doing? Oh my god, who shoot? why are you shooting me? Why are you, why are you sneaking up on me? How am I sneaking up? How am I supposed to announce myself to you <laughs> from that far away? Why are there pressure plates outside? What are you guys doing here? Where's, is the gundo here? Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. What are you doing here? What are you doing just hiding out in your house? I want to win the purge. Yeah, why, why are you leaving this mess to the so rest now, of now, us? So now, now you're shooting at us? Well, because you're coming into my house for some reason. <laughs> Will you cut it out? Don't come into my house. Shot! We're in act of war right now where, against us. Where's Shadow Mech? I don't know. Where's Lagundo? But that... Robert? We'll kill you. I will kill you, Sean. I wouldn't do that for you. Okay. Oh. Blow on the whole thing. Run. Robert? Yeah? What are you doing in my house? I'd like you to know that you're you, you're at war. Well, you point. you came here. What do you mean I came here? So what? You came to my house. You built stuff in my house. Yeah, but also you guys showed up sneaking around outside. I'm gonna come get you. Where's Shadow Man? Right here. I knew it. Sean, stop, Shadow. Where's your armor? Why are you hitting me? I'm helping you! What? You I'm helping you! The house right now? What? I'm helping you. Bro. What? Shadow. What? Stop! I'm helping! Who are you helping? Oh God. I'm helping you! Who's Why are you helping him? Because I don't know, I'm hunting. <laughs> Hunt Sean! Listen, I'm... let's all kill Sean right now! No. Shut up, shut up. Oh my god, this is out of control. It's the morning, the purge is over. And while the fighting was going on, the sun rose, marking three hours of the purge, meaning it was over. No one died, I mean, except for Ryan. Everyone survived the purge, except for Ryan. And that was it. 
So technically speaking, I did survive the purge, which was my goal. But next time we're doing it, we're limiting the armor because uh, this was the armor basically became unkillable. It was crazy. You can't, you can't kill me. Also, it turns out that Ryan and Lagundo were not working together. Uh, that was just a, a misunderstanding because someone said one thing on day one, which spiraled out of control and led to a ton of paranoia over the course of seven days and a bunch of fake storylines were made up in all of our heads that we then tried to it's just spiraled out of control because of one comment and all you know all that tnt i found uh, that was kim's base not lagundo's the whole time lagundo was not planning on betraying me this man was honest from the beginning although he makes it so hard to trust him because it, he does go and talk to everyone oh uh, yeah there it is I, you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go watch all their videos now all right there it is purge purge 2